What is But let, let's see, Cal uh, to, to me, uh, Theo just needs to, you know, punish Scott's, he just tends to double jump a lot. Because most people are afraid to approach uh, Pike because they know that Pike can space and then either run away or smack you. So very nice punish there. Scooping it up. I mean, it's slow and it hits hard. It's like, you really don't want to be taking that much damage early on, and Theo's really good at avoiding that. He's just as bad as chip him as much as he can early on. That's how you play Sonic. Yep. All right, waiting, waiting for that and going for the back air. You see, it could have been a counter, it could have been an air dodge, but that was either way. Either way. Yeah. All right, so Cal is holding his own, but he really only got a few grabs and a few hits because it's like he's not necessarily winning at all. And that's what you really need to close out a kill and stuff. All right, catch him with the spring, another spring, and Cal is dead. Oh, we got it. Okay. Um, I thought Cal was dead. So, uh, Theo might bet. Yeah, I think Theo was waiting for whatever option Cal would have. Oh! The missed tech punished by an up smash. I actually haven't seen it. That was pretty good. Uh, you see, when you, when you fail a tech, you also bounce a little bit, and then you can get hit by quite a few up smashes. Rosalina can do that with her down air and stuff like that. Uh, so now all Theo needs to really do is kind of play safer and keep poking him for extra damage. That wasn't uh, that wasn't a terrible option. Scott just wasn't quite fast enough when it came to that up smash. I'm not gonna connect him playing. He's playing the slower kind of funkier character, and it's gonna be harder for him to. That was fierce. Yeah, uh, not enough to kill. He's playing the slower kind of character, and now he just gets put in my place. Be right, waiting? Oh, oh, that's, uh, that's, that's dead. dead. Well, oh, maybe, maybe not. not. Okay. okay. Yeah, I thought it. There it is. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Yep, uh, Sonic's uh, back here. has a pretty nice hitbox. If, if you get under... I mean, there's, there's places you can hit when someone is throwing out a four hitbox in some characters, and it happens to be one of them. Alright, switch in the corner. I think this is the better choice. Uh, especially if... Uh, that is a funny thing Cal could do, but I don't know because yeah, most people are weary of countering. But as far as like, you know those spring setups, and then they either wait and get, they either throw out a down air, which is delayed enough to catch the air dodge or whatever else. Uh, if he just throws out a counter, unless Theo is really expecting it, uh, then you might just outright murder him because you're so high up. So Alright, so Kyle has shown some good fun in the first place. The Nair approach. We didn't see it all that. Alright, Kyle's going to push Kyle to get a new party. Wait, up tilt again? No, 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 up tilt. Oh, please! Theo moving around. Doing a shield on that. Getting jabs. That rollback was not a good option. Now he's really not okay. And very nice side lead, though. That covered him from getting back air or any other shenanigans off stage. Ooh, very nice. Catching the uh, spin dash. So Cal playing a lot more solid in this one. I think he's, he's doing pretty decently in neutral. Theo's throwing a base back here. Definitely showing that. Right. So. I like both of them. Uh, I think Sonic needs maybe a little bit more damage, but this I don't think it kills him. Yeah, Cal doesn't. Scrub with the eye. Very nice. Oh, covering that get up and then smacking him up that back air. I wasn't paying attention to Scott's get up habits, so I don't know if that was a really good read or if he just guessed right. I think I just guessed right. I didn't even notice. That was very good spacing. Unfortunately, it would pay off just a little too late. <laughs> So, so, so Theo's, Theo's probably, probably pretty careful with his air dodges and exactly when he does it and throwing out the box. Waits? Oh, he doesn't wait. Yeah, nice. Uh, I tried to go for the uh, down air. Back air. Yeah. Ooh, there's a punish. This might be it. Nah. Sonic's pretty safe. That other one. Oh, it's recovered. It's just really good. And you're just going for anything, and you can just spring. 
I mean, wait, 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 he, uh, see, that's a little mix up there. Oh, that's unfortunate. He just, he just let, let him go because he expected Kala to be in a panic mode, so he then Kala would just jump in it. You could die by doing it. Yeah. 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 Playing characters, it's just like, all right, you're panicking and then you're just going to jump and you're not going to do any options because you just want to get back on stage. That shows that uh, kind of just passive thinking or panic thinking when somebody can pull that on you. Because usually you just, you just want to take that's like split second. The biggest thing is you're supposed to get really scared when they're off stage at all. It's yeah. the last place anyone wants to be. And I mean, it, it, it's not completely unfair because Corrin, uh, oh, this is winner's finals, I think. I think switching back to the Ike, I don't know if maybe he just thinks Peach is a bad option because he can just quickly get out of her and hit her with those long evil legs. See, that's what I was getting confused about. I figured we would have switched to Peach, too. I, I think Scott's, uh, the, the, Ike is the character, his comfort character, pretty much. It's not necessarily his best, but I do think it's his comfort character. He feels like he needs to fall back on something. He's a Jesus kind of character. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's playing pretty solid right now. Probably should have been good. For sure. But but I, don't think. I mean, it's really hard to. Oh, very nice. All right. See, so, uh, I think Cal is like homing in a little bit. He's doing so. Yeah, I'm seeing a few things where he's kind of questionable. Yeah. And sometimes you need to play a little crazy. You do. Just show sure that you're not scared. What? Even if it's just faking it, if, you do it, if you're faking it so that they don't think you're as scared as you are. Because it, it's looking pretty... Yeah. It's just yeah. that it's so hard for a to get the hit that whenever it's actually presents... Yeah. Oh, very... He just <laughs> run up and up smash whatever. Whatever, all this serious play, whatever, I'll just run up and smash that's where Cal is going to have any chance at all. It's just being and he's never so slightly unexpected. Yeah, just, just gets get smacked by that spring. It's, it's really rough. rough. The spring has just yeah. enough knockback to mess with Ike's recovery. Well, it's Theo's really, he's going to use that spring. He knows when to do it. And he, knows how to, he knows how to punish him. And that's, I think that's why Cal was getting scared of him. Really? He, he was expecting a fast ball. Uh, I think he's gonna air dodge kind of thing. So Kala is playing pretty yeah, solid. I can see that. And I think and he's getting more confident by the game. Yeah. It, it can be overwhelming. And Sonic, you know, there's that's that social factor of this character's in the white and Sonic already. Yep. And that, and that actually, actually just gives them an advantage. Even just any amount, any subconscious amount, it's just that can be really, really devastating to just be out. It's, it's kind of being outwitted. You don't know. And like the yeah, very nice. Just scoop him up. That's the end of it. That was a good fight. 